Hello Scrappy friends, welcome back to my video and welcome to our third and final video in our mini series of Keeping It Simple Triangle Edition. If this is the first video you're catching in this series, I have challenged myself to use triangles on my layouts, but yet keep my layouts very simple and easy to recreate. So if you missed the first two, I will link them at the end of this video. And I also have an entire playlist of keeping it simple ideas where I have eight other mini series with different topics. So when you're done with this video, go check that out as well. So anyway, for our layout today, I am going to be using Life at the Lake collection and I'm going to document some hiking photos of our first trip to Yosemite and this was back in 2006 and I've, I've scrapped these photos already for our family photo album and when I was done I had a bunch of photos left over so I kind of divided them up per child and these were the ones that kind of highlight my son and some of his hiking adventures that week that we were there and a couple scenic photos so these pages will be for his album from the life at the lake collection I'm going to be using this cute wood grain pattern for my background and the plaid for a big photo block in the center of the page and then I'm going to bring in some scraps to accent my photos. Now one thing I want to talk about is my background pieces. I did not have two full sheets of this cute wood grain paper. This piece here was missing a two inch section down at the bottom but I had some scraps and as you can see I attempted <laughs> to weld it together there to create a full 12 inch piece and I'm hoping that the block I place on here for the photos is going to cover up this seam right here and we'll never even know but as I go through with this layout I am probably going to end up gutting this these papers as well because a lot of it is not exposed so I had to really do some creative behind the scenes cutting <laughs> before even cut coming on here and I'm even going to trim that down some more so anyway I wanted to point that out so if you see a line right here you know why and other than that I will put these aside and get going on my layout. So this is my background piece that I was talking about and my idea is to bring in this cute brown, blue, beige plaid and make a band across both sides of the layout. It'll be a pretty wide band going across um, but I'm going to leave room all the way around. So let me go ahead and get these cut down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I cut these down to nine and a quarter inches high by 11 inches wide. And my idea is to place it right here in the center of each page. And you'll see how I now just covered up my seam and I only have a little bit of that seam of it welding those pieces together showing through on each side so I think that was pretty effective but you can also see how I want to gut out some of the section because I could use some more wood grain in my collection later on as scraps but also the back is this cute wilderness pattern so I'm gonna go ahead and gut out the center and then adhere this right in the middle okay so I took out the inside of both pieces Save me a little bit for a future layout, but if you didn't want to go through all that trouble and you wanted to keep your layout even more simple, you would just cut down your photo blocks and adhere them to your page. Okay, so let me bring in my photos so that we can see um, where I'm going to go with this. So like I said, these are just some different hikes that we took, It's and we were camping here, but um, these are going to be more of hiking page. A group shot over here let's do something like this and then maybe something over here so I'm gonna trim these down a lot this one I probably will keep full because I want to see the waterfall this was such a huge accomplishment if you've ever been to Yosemite this is um, Vernal Falls so it's pretty good accomplishment for um, us to get these um, our well ourselves up here but then the little they were so little then too so 
Anyway, this one I'll probably cut down into a four by four, and I'm thinking I maybe want to do this one in a three by four. Let's get my templates out and see. Yeah, I think that would be perfect. I don't know the other people in the photo, so I just want him and the waterfall. This is actually lower Yosemite Falls, so they are different areas. I ended up with a few scenic photos too, so I thought it would be perfect. This one I'm going to bring in the four, a four by four, and yeah, I can cut that one into a four by four. That's perfect. This one I'm pretty sure could be a four by four, eating a little snack. This one I'll keep as a whole. This one, a four by four, and oh, let's see. Actually, let's switch this around. Keep a little more of this photo. Yep, I love that one. So that'll be a four by a four by four, and then maybe this one I can do in a three by four. Just checking here to see where the photo will line up. And I just want to get this is the view of Vernal Falls from the top and as it's trailing away. So yeah, I'm gonna do that in a three by four as well. So let me get all these trimmed down and I will be right back. Well, let's go ahead and bring in the triangles. This time I cut that blue scrap paper down. I love this, um, the, the shade of blue. I think it's gonna help pop some of my photos. So again, this is a four inch square like I used in the previous layouts. Seems to be a very useful size for me, but I also cut this time a two inch square so I can make some smaller triangles. So I'm going to do this one first and I'm gonna cut it right in half. Just lining the points up on the edge of my trimmer. There we go. One for each side. And I'll do the same thing with the two inch square. Find the middle point. Put those two points on the edge of the trimmer. Cut. And one for each side. My idea with this, with the triangles today, is to maybe bring it in here. Keep it on the plaid mat, but put it right behind this photo here. And on this page, it will come right over here and be on that photo right there. Scoop my photos in, there we go. And then the two smaller triangles, I thought it would be kind of fun to use them like a photo corner. And I'm going to tuck it right down here at the edge off the mat this time and I can move my photo around. I can tuck it under if I would like or pull it all the way out and just have that triangle there. I am gonna hang the triangle off into the background or the wood grain here. And then this one, I'm gonna bring and do the exact same thing on the other side. I kind of do like the photo tucked in there. So let's see, let's put this one back. And it works out that both my photos have some room to do that. That's how I'm gonna incorporate the triangles this time. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything else that possibly needs a mat. I like this one as the highlight photo because uh, the kids are standing up there with my brother and it's kind of like one of those successful photos that we made it to the top of this um, area. And so I'm gonna bring in some of this green paper I think it's gonna really help pop out the photo and then I'll mat this. I wanna keep the photo as big as possible so I'll just put a quarter inch mat all the way around. I think that'll look nice. There, I actually went four and a half by six and a half to give it an even bigger frame. I have plenty of room up here and I thought that would be very nice. And there we go, that really does help that photo pop. And I had some of extra green, so I'm thinking maybe I'll come in and mat this one over here. A little bit thinner mat on this one. Um, still an important <laughs> photo because you could see, this is I think part way up the hill where we all stop to rest, even grandma and grandpa. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna bring in some beige to do some more matting. Beige is one of the colors I see here in the plaid. And I think I'll mat this one. I think that would be really nice. And then on this page, I don't know, I'm thinking this one or even this one down here. 
There we go, everything is matted. And I went ahead over here and matted both photos. I really thought it helped to pop it off of this um, plaid that I have going on here. As well as the two three by four photos, I went ahead and put a dark brown, like hot fudge mat around that, just again to hop, help pop it out of the, um, the background a bit. So I'm loving the plaid, but it was kind of sucking out all of my photos and it was hard to see them and of course I want my photos to be my highlight so it was worth the extra time to go ahead and mat everything. So with the mats I feel like my block is a little bit tighter than it was I was intending. So I'm going to actually I think I want to move this the triangles the big ones to the outer edge like I did down at the bottom and then rest the photos like that it'll give me a little bit more room and let's go ahead and bring this to the outer edge something like that I think that's pretty cute I like it this will give me a nice little embellishment area right there okay that's gonna be my photo placement and my triangle placement I, I love it I think it's great and before I get everything adhered to the page well, I would like to take this opportunity to ask you if you're enjoying this layout and or this series, please click that like button and let me know it and leave a comment to see and let me know. Do you want to see more of these keeping it simple series? This is number nine and I'm already thinking ahead that there might be a 10, but let me know if I should go beyond that. Okay. Leave me a comment. Thank you. Okay, so back to <laughs> before I'm going to adhere these all down. I want to bring in my journaling and I also want to bring in some border stickers. Now, I was thinking of a border punch to run across this way and I was thinking down here. Now I don't know if I'm going to have as much room. I'll tuck everything up. But I have these cute little trees left over from, I believe it was set up camp or don't quote me on that. <laughs> and I'm thinking I want to run it under the triangle, but right around here at the bottom edge of the block. Yeah, I like that a lot. So let me go ahead and commit to this one. And I won't go all the way to the edge. I think I will cut off those two mountains right there. And on the other side, I won't use a whole one, but I thought it would be kind of cute just to have it coming maybe out right here from out from under the photo to just about the edge of the block there just something a little different so that the trees aren't completely lined up and there we go now i feel like i can get all my photos adhered down and i can come back i'll do journaling title and some embellishing okay hold on Okay, everything is now adhered down. You'll see I pulled up my border sticker here because I decided it was better to wait to bring in my mat, my journaling card first and then add the sticker. I found this cute journaling card, but I like it because it has the tree line and that we see in so many of the photos. So I think I'm gonna put that right here and I love the trees and what I thought would be cute is if I brought in this sticker and kind of tried to nestle it right in there with those other trees. So let me go ahead and adhere this and bring in my stickers and then visually try and just make it straight and have those trees coming up off of the journaling card. And I like that, it, help, it really kind of helps to pop that sticker a little bit as well. So for my title, I really like this one, Walking in the Woods. It has these cute little hiking boots on it. And since I'm kind of trying to highlight his hiking adventures for this trip, and he has these cute little boots on that you can see in some of the photos. And, um, and so I thought this would be super nice. I want to put it up here somewhere, but I want to get some kind of a base to put that on. I'm thinking for a cute cluster base, I would bring in this signpost punch, and I apologize, this one is discontinued, so I know a lot of us have it, but I'm gonna make kind of a whimsical signpost, and by that I mean I'm gonna punch out two of them, give myself a little bit longer of a post here, 
connect them together. So I'll have the top one going like that, then the next one going the opposite direction, and then here I'll give myself a little bit longer of a post. Put it right about here, maybe up like that. Let's turn it around. I just turned it around so a lot of the seams wouldn't be showing. And there we go. I'll have it coming off my block area a little bit to help extend that. And then I can bring back in my title and put it here at the end. But I also, um, I could come back and rename some of the different waterfalls and hikes that we took while we were there. So that, that's gonna be super cute. I'm gonna pop this up onto some foam tape and go ahead and put that just like this. And I'm gonna bring in my other stickers and see what I have that I could use. And like I said, these came from various different collections. Maybe the trees. The trees here are cute because they match the trees on our little sign, on our little journaling area. So maybe if I can tuck those in behind scooting my sign up just a tad and then have those coming out like that. That's super cute. It layers very nicely together and it kind of brings in these trees right there. So now I want to embellish over here. I have this big area and my journaling box and I always like to put something around my journaling box. So this time I think what I'm going to do is I, I went through my cluster base box. Probably all have seen it but it's just a little box that I keep cutouts in for when I if I cut them for a layout and don't use them, I store them in here. Makes it for quick cluster bases um, as I'm creating and I wanna try and keep things simple and not get up and cut. So I found this one and I love it because it has this rough and tumbly edge. This die cut set is quickly becoming one of my favorites just because of that edge. And so I kinda of wanna tuck that in around here somewhere to kinda of extend that out and give me a place to embellish. I'm bringing in the hot fudge brown that I have now brought in in a different couple different places to kind of help tie everything in together. Okay, so what do I want to put there? I saw some cute stickers here that I would like to bring in. I love the hiking boot print. I want to try and bring that in. I love the word wander. And I'm liking the arrow and even maybe the little bird. So let's bring all these in and see what we can use. And the arrow. So the arrow, I think arrows are perfect when you're hiking. Maybe something like that. The owl is cute because I like to get little critters on children's <laughs> children pages because they're so, it just kind of brings the whimsical factor of doing a child's page out. <laughs> so we'll see, let's see what else we have. The hiking boots are super cute. And then the word wander. Let's see here. Might need another place for the hiking boots. I do like the owl and the arrow. And the word wander could come off to the side. Maybe bring our arrow up even like that. And there was some greenery. I really liked this one that I could tuck underneath coming out like this. <laughs> there, after moving everything around, I kind of just made sure everything is kind of touching each other and just kind of bursting out from the embellishment base. But I'm pretty sure I'm liking this the way it's looking right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit to all of that. And I wanna bring in maybe one of these little pine cones to come down here like that to kind of take up that little space right there. And I'll have to save my hiking boots for another time. Let's put it like right there. <laughs> because I am very happy with the way this is looking and I'm also happy about the way that's looking. One thing I do wanna change over here is I think I wanna pop the arrow up onto some foam tape. And let's bring this back in. Yeah, there we go, that's super cute. 
And I think that's all I'm going to do for this layout. I do want to try and keep it very simple. So in that fashion, I always like to keep those embellishment cu clusters to a minimum as well. But I think I conquered it. I got my triangles on here. I'm loving how they are just there, but not taking over my page. I did get on seven photos and a nice spot for journaling and some two and two fairly good size clusters. So I'm very, very happy with this page. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly enjoyed this series. I hope you did too. If you're looking to for the first two videos, I will link them right here for you. And then go check out the playlist for even more inspiration on how to keep things simple, but create beautiful looking pages. Thank you and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.